I had this clock that was in one of my last um, hauls from that lovely Craigslist seller. And um, this isn't the last one that I got, but like one before or the first one, I can't remember. But anyway, so this is a clock made by Creative Imaginations. It's their bare elements. And um, it is a working clock. So, you know, this part's gonna come up here and the clock hands, you know, are pretty big. So I have to take that into consideration as I'm embellishing this, because I can't get crazy in this area right here obviously because it has moving clock hands so I got to figure something out um, in the meantime the only parts that I do know um, I did go ahead and just sew around the edges because I'm covering both front and back even though you won't see the back um, I'm covering the front and the back with um, some of this paper from the Prima journal pad um, I love this pad um, it's so many pages that are you know distressed and I just love it. Anyway, so I did decide I wanted to use one of those pieces for the front. I haven't figured out which one I'm going to use for the back yet. But um, this is the paper that I'm going to use for the front. I love how it's got like the crackled effect. It's got a distressed look already. I really don't have to do too much work to this because the paper takes, you know, has put most of the work into it for me. So I really like that. So I'm going to cut this down and... Um, uh, I'm trying to figure out also what I'm going to do on the sides here. I don't know yet. Um, but I think right now what I'm going to do is just spray it. Just, whoa, hello. Just to get some, um, you know, color on it. But, um, and then after that, I'm going to use some PVA glue to adhere the front and back pieces down. And then I'll be back. Hey, so, okay, this is the way that my clock turned out. And, um, again, I had to be really careful about embellishing this because um, the hands, uh, I had to be careful of, you know, the circumference of where the hands go. Um, so I had to kind of be, you know, a little careful with uh, how I was embellishing. So it's very minimal. I trimmed it out with some of this Hobby Lobby um, trim that has the pearls going around it and I cut some pieces with uh, my new silhouette I have the portrait that I just bought love it and um, so this these greenery flourish right here right here and right here all were cut with um, the silhouette oh and the centerpiece as well and I took a micron pen after I adhered this down, I took a micron pen, like in a sepia color, and I just kind of outlined the entire thing so that it would stand out a little bit more. Kind of got buried in the background after I cut it out. So anyway, I used that very fine tip uh, micron just to outline it. Um, I have some chipboard numbers here, basic gray chipboard numbers that I had glittered up. But then it was too bright on the pay on the on the clock, I mean, and I decided to just kind of grunge it up with some brown distress paint. I have some more um, K and Company chipboard letters, um, and the A had a little pearl on it, so I just decided to add a little bit more pearls because the R and T didn't have any on it. So I just kind of added a little bit of a uh, pearl pieces on there um, and uh, it, they're, the letters are sitting on top of this uh, doily that I cut um, again because I was just trying to keep it where it was out of the way of the hands and um, and I sprayed it with the Tattered Angels in Kiwi this color right here um, so I sprayed the doily and then you know set the uh, letters on top of it and then I took uh, let me bring it up. Here we go. This is a Prima Bird, and I used some uh, Rub and Buff um, over the top of that, and you know, a couple of millinery flowers, and I put the um, stamens in here, um, tucked them down into the flowers, and then I have another little uh, spray here that I've just attached here and then I also decided to attach it here because I didn't want it to be free 
you know, I was worried again that, that if it was sticking out, it would the hands would hit it. Um, so I glued it at the very tip here as well. Um, I have a couple of leaves tucked in here, some cheesecloth, um, another little I Am Roses uh, flower stuck kind of in the middle there to hide some of that stuff that I did with the uh, gluing down. And I think that's it with that corner and then this corner, which I'm going to have to turn it sideways. And then this corner here is um, big I Am Roses um, flower. Um, a couple of other little flowers um, here as well with uh, flat back pearl centers glued down to them. Uh, this is um, a little ceramic ro uh, tulip, whatever it is, and uh, I'm not a flower person. Another little spray. And then this is a uh, wedding gown piece, actually, uh, that I got from Rosella. And uh, so that satin, you know, little rolled flower that was from a dress and I think that's it on that corner too so um, and then I just took some gesso dry brushed um, over you know some of this just to shabby it up a bit um, I did take some of that same kiwi color and I painted all around the edges here um, I had um, I don't know if I showed in the last video, it's been a while since I looked at it and since I've done this, but I can't remember if I showed that I did use a uh, stencil and some texture paste to give some texture to all the sides here. And then I took that same gold rub and buff that I used on the bird and went over the top. I was trying to hit just the textured areas, but of course it, you know, kind of hit other places as well but I kind of again wanted that to be kind of grungy looking so anyway so yeah I like the way this turned out this is my working clock that I'm going to use here in my craft room it's going to sit on top of my paint studio or paint studio my paint station um, that my wonderful boyfriend had made for me and this is how it looks in the back Again, I didn't do anything except just put some patterned paper over it. I think I showed that in the last video. But anyway, so that is the finished piece. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.